All right, it's kind of a rainy day. I got some projects piled up out here. Building the show file for the 6L. Uh, working out some app racks, working with some Lake DSP. Having fun with Mila. Mila the shop kid. Hi, Mila. <laughs> She's a little skittish. She doesn't like cameras. Anyway, I got this project I've been putting off. These are some Altec A7s that I'm building up for my neighbor who's got a great big fancy barn and he's going to do weddings and stuff in there, but he wanted a cool kind of retro speaker for his barn, but he wanted kind of modern performance. So I've reloaded these with Electrovoice 15L Proline woofers, powder coated the horns, and then we've got some 18 sound modern compression drivers. So we're looking for modern performance and a vintage look. From here, we'll put some uh, mini DSP makes really cool uh, plate amps. These guys. And these have uh, Bang & Olufsen ice power modules in them. Mini DSP, DSP. Uh, the processor's analog device is Shark. Um, these are cool. So we're going to put these in them. Um, they fit right in the back. I had them loaded in there before. But we're going to put them in there and then we'll tune it up, get it ready for my neighbor, and then we'll get them delivered to him. So that's our project today. Let's get on it. These are cool. I put these connectors on everything. It's a Neutrik NL4. Um, it's the standard of the industry for the pro stuff. So they're they're relatively cheap. I'll uh, I'll put a link in the description. But these are easy to get. They carry four conductors. They make an eight conductor one also. But if you just put them on everything, it's like ten dollars to do both ends. Why not? And they're super cool.
All right, so we got the amps mounted up. Now it's time to develop a network and fire up the DSP and the analyzer and go to work tuning these babies up. So these are simple to use and to control. Um, basically, you just need some kind of router, drives the network, and there is a, a plugin that you have to download to run on your computer. And it's either Windows or Mac friendly, which is really nice. Um, <laughs> if you've watched my channel, you know how much I love uh, Windows, so. Um, real simple, it's just a power cord, a network cable, and a router, or you could home run that into your computer. But I'm going to sit across the room and tune these, so I'm going to go ahead and use the router. These are super simple and super easy. So let's get to tuning. Now, some of you may not have an Avid S6L, but it really doesn't matter. It just happened to be in here, so that's what we're going to use today. All right, so there's a number of ways you could go about this. Probably outside on a calm day would be the best, maybe in the grass. But um, it's kind of yucky out today here and it's a little bit breezy so that would probably destroy my measurements so what i'm going to do is is do kind of a near field windowed measurement um and make sure that the the microphone is the closest thing to the speakers and that the reflection is not the closest thing So the deal is, I'm going to set this up to be about uh, probably three feet from the front of the cabinet. So about 36 inches there, three feet. And then we're just going to make sure that the uh, that the distance from the microphone to the ground is greater than that, or even more importantly, the distance of this. So we've got a short distance to measurement, but it would be a long distance from a reflection to the measurement. And that's how that works. So, but there is a caveat. You've got to keep the level pretty low. Um, 70, 80 dB, maybe six decibels above the ambient noise of the room. Uh, the more you excite the room, the more kind of garbage you're gonna get in your measurement. So keep the levels low. If you need to run it loud, take it outside. I'm gonna put this microphone where I'm pretty handily getting both the, the tweeter and the woofer at the same time. Um, because we have to blend the two together. So I want to get this in a position that would be maybe kind of a common and listening position. But really these are going to be used for more of a public address application at a greater distance. But this will be our starting point. All right, next thing on the list is we got to get a signal to the speaker from our console. So the easy way to do that is to just send right out of this baby. Let's see, I'm going to go as 
big boy stuff there. Let's do this. Come out of number one. Now these little guys are pretty rad. We can use, they have analog inputs or analog left, analog right, AES in. So they have digital inputs on these that you can use, but we're gonna do analog today. And then you can go out AES to the other side. So you could send one cable to this side and then just jump over to the other. So you could feed AES in there and then just jump over to the other side, which might be handy, but this application is gonna be analog for the client. So we're just gonna tune it with analog. All right, first things first, we're gonna to go to my account and see if there's an update on the amplifiers. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, February 